Back at it again, back at it again. Can't stop, won't stop. Zone 9 life. Thanks again for tuning in with your boy, man. Coach J, Motivated Moments. Stay tuned. Let me show you what I have up my sleeves today. Hey, appreciate y'all. Skirt, skirt. Let's get it. All right, Long Locos. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut this jungle. I don't know if you see it, but I'm looking real shaggy and scooby right about now. You see the grass blades blowing in the wind? Yeah. Real shaggy and scooby right about now. But she's, she's looking nice. Let's go to the other side. Looking real shaggy and scooby right about now. Shaggy and scooby right about now. Well, that's the first thing I'm going to do, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this grass. Give it a nice fresh cut cut. Okay, also I'm gonna change directions today. East to west and then changing it to north to south. North to south, okay. But what your boy got up his sleeves today is it's time to put down my, uh, my animal deterrent. You know, all those burrowing animals that try to burrow into my to my lawn and the soil looking for insects, looking for food. Okay, this is that yard guard. Arr, you scallywags, yard guard. I have multiple videos on the yard guard. And also, uh, it's time for me to start my grub treatment. Okay, going down with the chlor chlorotronilopril. Excuse me, that chlorotronilopril. Okay, this, uh, this GrubX product, this chlor or this chlorotronilopril takes a long time to get down into the soil and into the root zone, okay, where the uh, where the grubs will be feasting and eating, okay. So uh, zone nine life, my temps are approaching that range, but I'm going down with this starting now. Uh, it's uh, almost the end of January, beginning of February, okay. But I'm gonna put this grub X down a couple of times before uh, you know I get to summer, maybe two to the maximum treatment of three treatments, you know, starting now to carry me out all the way until until fall. But this is my preventative maintenance to my grub control. And you guys know for my curative, I actually have a couple too. For my curative control of the of the grubs, I use that duo side. I keep rotating. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try. The duo side. Okay, with the befenthrin and, and carabel. Okay. And then also this uh, 24 hour grub killer plus, which has the triclofon on it. Try to get as close as if I can get it. Yeah, triclofon. Okay, I rotate between these two for my curative. And then for my preventative, I rotate between the grub X with chlorotronilopril and the imidacloprid. Like, I won't start my imidacloprid treatments until probably June or July, since the imidacloprid gets into the root zone a lot quicker than the chlorotronilopril. I don't need to put that down uh, as soon as I need to put down the chlorotronilopril, okay? But that's it, man. Your boy about to cut this grass. Uh, let's get an update on that, fung that fungus. This is probably that same spot where I showed y'all the lesions. I still see a couple of lesions in there. Here's here's one here. I still see I still see a couple of lesions in there, but not as many as before. You know that treatment did well. That was a week ago. I'm thinking after I go down with these uh, these products for the soil, I'm gonna mix up some type of spray. And within that spray, I'm going to go down with another curative rate with that uh, propiconazole before I, I rotate to another fungicide. So it's not going to hurt. I still see a few lesions there, not, not much. But you can go down every 7 to every, every uh, 14 days with the treatment of a fungicide. Okay, propiconazole is what I'm using. But I'm going down at the uh, rate in which I can go down every 7 days. So let's get it, man. I'm tired of talking, man. Let's get in this work work. Appreciate y'all. All right, Long Locos. 
Now you see, I changed the pattern. I went from east to west to north and south, okay? This is the pattern I just did now to change the direction. North and south. This is the direction I just did, remember? East to west. And now I change it up to north and south, which gives it that checkerboard effect. But obviously, man, I don't ever get no, I don't ever get the help from the sun, man. Florida rains all the time, overcast, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not complaining. The conditions I get here in North Florida makes it optimum for me to grow fescue or a cool season yard. So I can't complain. You see, I went this way. This time, last time, I went this way. Pattern still holding nice and strong, baby, baby. Let's just over here, let's just check it out. But now what I need to do, man, is I need to, uh, I need to uh, get the uh, yard guard out and together, as well as that chlorotranilopril out and together, you know, so I can uh, spread this chompy, this ch ch chump chump chompy. My spot by the rain barrel is doing good. I put some peat moss there. Spot right here, trouble spot doing well right now. Still need to move that sprinkler head. But I have a sprinkler and a hose as you know for backup. Okay. I am gonna hit I am gonna hit that fungicide treatment again. I know I will. Because I still see a whole lot of uh yellow right here. A lot of yellowing. I don't know if you can see it like I can, but a lot of yellowing right here. I'm definitely gonna hit it with another shot of that uh, prop prop. Prop 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 prop. <laughs> the proper conazole. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm, I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Let me go down here and show you north and south and then east and west. Because you can't really see the checkerboard at all this way. But obviously, I don't have any sun to help me with the stripage. But you see, this is the direction I just went. So it looks, you know, it's fresher than the east to west cut. But walking this way, you see this. And if I turn sideways, then you'll get that effect. Oh, excuse me. Then you'll get that effect somewhat. Somewhat. We're not getting any good, good help from the ball of goodness up there. But you see it. There, there, you see it real good right there. That's it, man. Cool season yard in Florida, man. Let me get this stuff weighed out and spread. Looks like it's about to rain. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, not today. Or Monday. Or something. One of those days. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Tune, 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 tune. All right, Lawn Locos. Let's get this chlorotranilla prayer in this spreader. Okay, Cortranilla Prill, guys, is a preventative, okay, preventative grub uh, control. Mm. Preventative grub control. This covers 5,000 square foot, so I'm going to put this entire bag in this monster. And that's it, man. Put my mask on. That's it, man. Y'all see me spraying. Y'all see me spray, but... Just basically just wanted to show you guys the yard. I'm still getting it in. Zone our life. Cool season yard in Florida. Okay, last week you saw me. I put my pre-emergence down. Okay. Now it's time to treat for the insects. Insecticide. I'm going to do another round of fungicide. And I got that yard guard as well. Let me show you this yard guard real quick. See that? I'm also going down with the yard guard. Arr, yard guard. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all is good, guys. Putting in that work. All right, Long Locos. Uh, your boy now is uh, putting down this yard guard to keep these armadillo, well, like I, I get possum mainly. Armadillo, possum, skunk, mole, anything digging and burrowing in your yards. All natural deterrent. 
will not harm the animals or organic materials okay now since I'm only doing the front I've already weighed out what I need just to cover the front I don't have to worry about those critters getting into the back they don't get into the back obviously with the dog back there marking her territory they rather not even go to the back you know because I guess they deem it as a predator basically but anyway I'm only doing this in the front let me dump it in there <laughs> I'm gonna dump the fertilizer and lead the lead. Shout out to my dog, lead the lead, man. Lead the lead. Yeah, my lead. There it is. All right, man. Let's let me knock this out real quick, man. Appreciate y'all. All right, long locos. That is it, you guys. That is it. Nice, nice cut. Nice change of direction. Uh, your boy just put down the uh, chlorotrinilopril, the grub X. Just put down that yard guard, which is castor oil, you know, pepper, limestone, a bunch of stuff that'll mess up the smell for any uh, any burrowing animal, skunk, possum, armadillo, even mole. It will help with that as well. But that's it, guys, man. Overseed is doing good. I'm going to be rocking and rolling until... July, guys. July. You know, I get October to July is basically my growing season. I don't go dormant in the winter like everyone else does. I go dormant and struggle in the summer because I have a cool season yard. But let's walk it. I appreciate y'all, man. Rock and roll, man. If you ain't got nothing going on, man, go back and watch some of the old videos, guys. You know, see what your boy's been doing, trying to put in that work for a cool season yard in Florida. But I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody that somebody else is out here doing the same damn thing that everyone else is doing. But this version is coming from your boy, man, Coach J. A true long loco. Thanks again for your time. And God bless. Peace.